I have no idea what day it is, but I'm gonna I'm out here. I'm gonna feed some feed a bale to my brother's cows as he's gone uh, for the holidays right now, and uh, it's gonna be awful cold. So we're just gonna supplement them a little bit. And here's I think these are millet bales. I gotta just double check here before I back up to them, and uh, I'll kind of show you guys how this works. I've never done it myself before here. Um, these are millet. You can see the millet heads on them there and uh, looks like it's gonna be some pretty good feed I think and then this is what we're using here it's my brother's he bought it I've never I've only seen it used once so um, we're gonna see how this works I guess I I know he had problems with the axle and we somehow broke the axle on it so I helped him throw in some oil filled pipe for an axle and so far that's held up well but I think some of my bales might be slightly too heavy for his uh, his apparatus. But um, I guess time will time will tell. I'm gonna see how hard it is to back up, and if it takes me too long to back up, I'm just gonna shut you guys off and and back up later or back up without being on camera. But we hopefully can get her back in there. Trailer's pretty short. I need to move over a little, I think. If it gets too bad, I'll just unhook the trailer and and uh, wheel it back there by hand. I think that would almost be simpler than trying to back this thing up. I think we made connection back there. Looks like we made it. Looks like we're somewhat centered. Oops. Okay, so this thing, I like I said, I've never really used it much, so you're gonna have to bear with me. <clears throat> I know my brother's probably cringing when I'm doing it wrong or something, but we'll see. But I've never used this before. I've only seen him use it once. Oh, I don't have the cable quite loose enough. Rookie mistake there. So you take these points out, I assume here, and you shove them in the bales like so have this chain that goes on this other side here. And I'm gonna try to do the same with this side. I'm not sure what these bales weigh, um, but it seems like they have a little weight to them. So I guess you hook this thing together somehow like that. So I got it poked on either side and I guess we're gonna crank it up now. This is all just hand winch operation. Actually not winching too hard. So far, that seemed to work good. This will go go to the cows, and I'll see how it pulls. And we'll catch you guys in a few. Or whatever, and uh, this is the field actually of soybeans we never combined. As you can see, the cows are all out grazing. They don't seem like they're too hungry, so well, that's always a good thing. Um, uh, originally, I was gonna roll it over there, but. I guess since the wind's not blowing too bad today, the cows uh, are out here pecking at this. Seeing how much.
which they get off of it will be interesting. Um, so I've never used this trailer only once, so I guess we'll see how it works. I'm just down here cutting the net wrap off. I don't know if it's in frame or not. And I'm sure it's going to be froze to the bail. All this good stuff. Not too bad. Uh, it didn't come off as hard as I thought. Um, I don't take net wrap off when we're grinding hay um, for our cattle and we're actually grinding it. But I will take net wrap off when we're feeding it alone. Um, the stuff that you grind, it'll be, it'll be fine enough that it ain't gonna ever matter. Um, but I feel that this stuff that, uh, that hole, it'll get that in their mouth and choke on it. I don't know what happened, but I just let that go. Well, I guess it worked. All right, well, I guess there's the net wrap off. For a rookie, that didn't seem like it went too bad. Oh, got caught there for some reason. Grab my knife. And I guess now we just drive forward, I think. I don't know if you gotta have this cable looser or... That should be good. Pretty decent looking cows for pretty much being out on pasture and just being supplemented some bales. So I think this has worked out pretty good for him. Here you go, I don't know if you guys can see the bale unrolling back there. Well, maybe it's unrolling. There we go. Starting to come apart. Mm, I can smell, if you guys could only smell this hay. Holy buckets, it smells good. Yeah, there's some excitement when they start running like that. They know something's going on. Oh, we're out of bail. Um, we'll turn around here. And Get, I'll get it all picked up and we'll see what this hay looks like. This is that millet, some of the millet hay we baled this summer on our double cropped uh, rye ground there. I think it looks really good. I don't know what you guys' opinions are, but one video I need to get made is uh, our crop comparison video or whatever. on our forage crops that we raised. I just haven't take the, taken the time to do that, I guess, but I'm fairly happy with how that worked out. I don't know what you guys think, but. I'm not even sure exactly how long my brother's had this. I don't remember when he bought it. But not even sure of the brand or, oh, there's the brand, I guess. Hey, be gone, hay mover and roller. Oh, I guess slide these together so they don't fall out. I guess it's probably a very economical way to, you know, kind of unroll bales. I think you'd have to have good hay to do it. I don't think you're gonna unroll crap and have cows eat it. But from that little bit that I've seen it, you know, it's. I hauled that bale a couple miles. It didn't take me very long. I didn't have to bring a tractor over. Oh, you can see our soybeans that we didn't harvest. They're just awesome. We're gonna stop up here and walk around and look at the how it unrolled a little bit. There's just that little core that didn't get unrolled. Everything else seems to be unrolled really well. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Stop and look at this hay. These cows are pretty, pretty nice cows. You don't put up with BS cows. 
this is that millet, German millet we baled on my dad's ground here. It's looking pretty good to me. It smells really good too. So, anyhow, I guess hopefully you guys enjoy this little video and and we'll uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. I guess if you guys have any questions on this bale and roller or whatever, I guess go ahead and ask them. I don't know a lot about it because I've only used it this one time. So, yeah, it's enrolled a little thick here, but we'll we'll see tomorrow how much is actually here, and I might just tack that on to the end of this video. Well, see you guys on the next one. Guys, on my last part of this video that I was going to come back and check out the waste from uh, unrolling this bale here and as you guys can see this is where I unrolled it yesterday um, there is very little waste over here um, right here it might have been just a little thick where it spread it out but for the most part that's uh, I'm pretty happy with that uh, leaving that little bit and I'm sure they'll pick back through it again but when they're back over on this side but you can see here they didn't hardly leave anything I just think back there it got a little thick when we started when I started unrolling, but I just wanted to add this clip here to the last video I made with that unroller. I didn't make another one today on unrolling bales because figured one video was enough on that. But but I thought you guys would find that uh, nice on seeing how the how how the cows clean that feed up there. So all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Come rate and subscribe. Ask any questions you feel like. And uh, we'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.